Hello, Patrick. Hi. How are you? Good. Good, good. So um, I have with me Jim Morrissey, who's a pre-hospital care coordinator with Alameda County EMS. Um, he's also an FBI SWAT medic. Um, and what we brought I over... I didn't do it, I promise. <laughs> <laughs> what we brought over is the uh, Patrol XF pack from Conterra. Cool. And um, I actually first got a chance to play with this uh, two years ago at Urban Shield, which is a SWAT uh, competition that Alameda County Sheriff's hosts and they always have an EMS component to it. And um, one of the things that I think is changing in tactical medicine um, is the idea of having a warm scene. And so, uh, you know, law enforcement will go in, and, and Jim, this is his more his area of expertise, but law enforcement will go in and will secure ingress and egress, and the idea being that your regular paramedics off the street, not necessarily in tactical gear, um, can go in, extricate the patient to a safe location and start working. And so um, we actually got a chance to play with these, I think, before they were released mm -hmm. to the public. Um, and what I really like about this is that it's got the um, detachable uh, litter on the bottom. Oh. And so um, you know, huh. I'll nice. let Jim That's kind really of follow cool. up with the, with the product a little bit. But it allows you to carry um, the things that you would need to safely extricate you know, your SWAT operator or suspect or bystander or victim, um, but also uh, a really light way um, to get your patient out of the scene. Cool. Good. Well, I mean, first, the, um, the application of this was designed for, for military and, and tactical operators so that they could work uh, with an IFAC. The IFAC is a common term used now, individual first aid kit. But this is really more of an, kind of an IFAC plus. So it's the ability to take care of yourself, your buddy, or a number of casualties right in front of you instead of waiting for the big med bag, which may or may not be available or may or not be um, you know, sought after by multiple medics into a mass casualty incident, the operator can work independently. So the pack actually has its origin in ski patrol way back when, Smart. and we all know how that right. is. And, and it has um, great application in these environments. But what, what has been recently, you know, we, we all know about the active shooter events that, that unfortunately seem to happen every week. And once the threat's eliminated by law enforcement, then it really becomes an MCI. And it, instead of wheeling in the gurney with the cardiac monitor and the drug box and the, the trauma supplies that are trying to be shared by everybody, it's, it's best to have everybody working relatively independently. And um, so this litter stretcher um, has been an evolution, and, and I carry one of these as a tactical medic, basically in my hydration pouch in the back. Um, and then we said, well, why not just make it part? So, so our friends at Conterra, uh, put this together, which was a, a need in multiple different environments, and uh, and came up with this is called the Patrol XF, um, and it's it's meant more robust than most patrol packs. You know, waterproof zipper, heavy yeah, duty Cordura. It actually has applications where these Velcro straps can come out and can attach to the inside of a helicopter or to a to a Humvee or whatever, so you can have your pack working out of it, or it can just act as a handle, or it can be just um, you know sequestered away. So it's got plenty of room for how I like to outfit is personal protective equipment, trauma gear, and then actually routine non-emergency equipment. As a medic, you know, we're not just dealing with sucking chest wounds and femurs. It's, hey, I got a headache, you got any Claritin, you got any sunscreen, right. you know, you got any tech new for, you know, so we, we have those things as well. But certainly this application and the, the peop some people may say, well, what about spines or pelvis? You know, in a sense, in a tactical or combat or, or MCI environment, there are no spine injuries. Right. We're, we're moving people to a casualty collection point, and this stretcher um, happens to actually be incredibly strong. And for those climbers out there, this is, um, you know, climbing level, uh, has, it's 22 kilonewtons, stronger than carabiners. So we can, fit, we can fit a sea lion on here if we had to and move them, move them to SeaWorld. Wow. Um, so it's quite strong. Um, it does, it's washable. Um, and you saw it's you know I call it my burrito stretcher. It's not that big, much bigger than a burrito. And well, basically, you, uh, with three handles on each side, you could actually use two operators, one in each end, or three on each side. You know, so there's a lot of different ways to do it. You could also drag it. You know, granted, over really rough terrain, it'll take a beating. Um, but you know, so far so good. This has been very well received in that environment. Uh, the military's picked up a bunch for obvious reasons, um, and then. We're not only looking at the tactical medic, but the uh, sort of the active shooter response. I'd like to see a couple of these packs in each ambulance, so that if you did respond to an MCI, um, each medic could basically work independently. What I like about this is it's def it's one piece of w this is all one piece of webbing, Correct. and I can feel the the big so point here. Right. That that's going to be strong. I mean there. I mean, there's one fail point, and that makes it so much nicer. You know, instead of something that's stitched here and here and here and here, you know, now you have four uh, fail points. This is nice. This it's is also really very good, intuitive. Really there nice. are no buckles. You don't have right. to clip in their hips, and you know, just grab the handles right. and go.
Yeah, so there's a yep. very nicely done. And the nice thing is, done. is when you know when you're thinking about uh, Contera has made rescue equipment forever, right. um, and so to take what they've learned from you know really really high risk situations and apply that to something that we're going to use not on a day to day basis, but certainly frequently enough, um, it's it's nice to know that uh, that uh, manufacturers are starting to think that way and, and start to put that quality into what we're using you know on a day-to-day -day basis i'd love i know they have uh you know als bags and stuff but um that come with a price point but uh right. but I, they turn out great stuff and, and i was just very impressed using nice. this hands-on and so i was excited to see it here and one thing that came of this year's urban shield what the medical teams we integrated a new medical team with every swat team they ended up just dropping one of these packs at each critical patient so they'd unclip it and leave a stretcher with each of the red patients so that it was pretty clear what what that patient needed wow very cool Okay, great. Okay. Well, thank, thank you, you very, very much. much. That's, That's awesome. Thank, thank you. Great. Wow.